hey guys how's it going hope you all are doing well and in this video i'm going to give you some more tips on how to make the most money fast solo dolo in red dead online so let's get right into the video all right when you start at red dead online it's pretty hard to find out how you can make money so i'm gonna give you guys a couple of more tips to help you make as much money especially solo in red dead online as fast as possible now these methods you want to try there are no specific order but you want to focus on hunting stranger missions and side missions call to arms and the roles and i'm gonna go a little bit more in depth right now all right when you're dropped finally in the open world and you're on your own the best way that you're going to be able to make a lot of money fast to be able to get you you know going is going to be by hunting and you want to specifically focus on big game animals now the great thing about black is that they have a pack of bison that constantly respawn you can hunt them over and over and over again grab all the meat and head over to the butcher as you can see for big game meat i'm giving 75 cents you know this medium 60 45 45 for all the medium size so big game is going to pay you the most and look just for 14 i can sell them all and get ten dollars so Focus on big game and bison are easy big game to get because they're not really aggressive so they won't really fight back opposed to trying to go after a bear. Elk are pretty hard to get to because the environments that they're in are a lot of predators. Uh, but the bison just sit there. They sit there and they respond and respond and respond. So you can hunt them as much as you want and get as much as you need and then go to the butcher, sell them and get that dinero. The minute that you can take advantage of call to arms, that's a great way to make money and gain XP. Especially for newer players, you want to take advantage of that, of that immediately, as soon as you can. And you do that by getting telegrams. Now, you can get it from your satchel or your lockbox. Hit the call to arms. Go to whichever one you like you want to try. Blackwater is the easiest one. Now, in order to go into a call to arms by yourself, you got to form a posse and be the only per posse member in there. And then, nine times out of ten, they'll spawn you in by yourself. Now, the trader role is another way that you can make money solo. Dolo is pretty simple. You really hunt, donate the materials to Crips, and then you make runs. So what I like to do is that when I have a run ready, I like to make sure my material bar is completely full before I do the run so that when I get back, I can do another run back to back. Right now, it's a bonus. So you see my delivery for a large dragon is $1,000. You want to take advantage of when you have those bonuses for any role, especially right now when they give you mucho dinero for the runs. Normally it's only 500, but like I said, it's double, so I'm getting a thousand. So this month I'm gonna stack and stack and stack and stack and stack this cash and do these runs. But you do the run, come back, and rinse and repeat all over again. That's another great way to make money solo is by taking advantage of all the roles, especially the trader role. Okay, when it comes to the natural role, getting samples are really, really easy because so many animals out in the, out in the wild. And when you start out, you really only have you really can only hold five samples. So if you just focus on, especially if it's just for money, if you focus on white-tailed deer, bison, which are easy to get, and elk. You want to get a bull elk and a cow elk. Um, those are pretty much pay on the higher end unless you get really exotic. exotic. But those are easy for, easy for you to find, and they'll pay on the higher end so you'll be able to make some money. So it's like if with five samples, you'll get 15 for the white tail. 18 for the bison, 24.50 for the elk, and 24.50 for the elk if you're holding five. Now, once you get the satchel, you'll be able to hold 10. Now you're rolling in the money. And now you can get as many samples of animals as you as you want. Like, you can get as many animals as you want. Correction. You can get as many animals as you want, but you can only hold five samples. So you can fill this all up, come to her, and max out. She's a quick way to make cash fast. Now, with the moonshine, it's going to vary depending on the, the type of <laughs> moonshine you use, the type of brew that you make. You know, to make the most money fast, you want to always use weak brew. Um, and it depends on how many bottles you deliver because it's a bumpy ride sometimes. So if you drop some bottles, that can take some money away from your profit. And so then when you're ready, you'll see if I deliver to this guy, he'll pay me $115. If I deliver to this guy who wants a specific brand of moonshine, he's going to pay me $180. And again, this is all double because right now there's a double money for moonshine sales and trader sales. So this will be half of that which would be normally 90 bucks. So if you're doing the moonshine and trader, you can bounce between them both, be making money while one's going, while one's brewing. It's a great way to make money. Bounties are another great way to 
get money so low dolo as you can see it's pretty self-explanatory you want to try to bring as many i'm in as, as alive and if you're riding solo you really want to focus on the single targets opposed to the group target because those are hard to get in unless you have the bounty honey hunter a uh, wagon which you won't have that early on so you want to focus on the guys that are just single you can hunt them down solo dolo and it won't be too challenging for you and as you can see by reward the <laughs> The more dollar signs you have, that means the more money you're going to get. So he's on the cheaper side. He's the medium and they're expensive because they're a group. So it's all about what you're looking to do. If you're trying to get a challenge, uh, then you can go with the with the group. You'll get the most money for them. But if you're trying to get cash fast, I will stick with just the single targets and the ones that's, that's paying a little bit more than just the solo. And you could travel all over the map and do bounties. Now the grindy of all the roles, which is to collect the roles, which will take you the most time. You want to focus on tarot cards. You'll get the most money. You'll get like $300 per set, but it takes a long time because there are 14 cards in each set. You got to travel all over the map to find them. So um, that would be at the bottom of the list. If I'm thinking about trying to make quick cash, um, it, a collector role would be at the bottom. You also want to do side missions like stranger missions. And the blood money missions, those will pay you handsomely for your help in resolving any of those issues. And again, you still want to be doing the main uh, main mission. But those are a couple of key ways that will help you get as much money as possible, as fast as possible. Because remember, they just give you really nickels on the dollar right? for everything. You get quarters here, nickels. You're like, what am I doing with a nickel and a quarter dime? So doing these methods will be able to help you stack those quarters so that you have dollars and be able to be rolling in the dough man in red dead online any stranger missions that you do or any like side missions that you run into whether it's a gang interaction or uh, or the laws trying to stop you while you're running the moonshine merc everybody and loot them because you never know what they're going to have and sometimes they have collectibles as well so merc everybody always loot the bodies no matter what mission you're doing whether it's a bounty hunter mission loot the bodies loot the bodies loot the bodies all right guys that is it for this one i really hope it was helpful I tried to do another one so that i could add in a few more tips to help all the new players get as much money as they need especially starting out because there's so many things you need to buy and you just don't have the money and don't know how but uh like i said hopefully this was helpful and if it was do me a favor and hit the subscribe button because i make guide and tip videos all the time and by hitting the subscribe button it'll ensure you don't miss the next video all right, guys, that is it. Happy hunting. <laughs> get that money. Get that money. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Hey, outlaws, if you enjoyed that video, then check out this next video. That's more Red Dead Online content.